If you have bad credit and need a car, let me tell you what to do to set yourself up. First, I'm going to tell you what most people are doing to lose thousands. They go out and they buy fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollar $30,000 cars when they got bad credit. Your interest rate is going to be high. You're going to bury yourself. When you go to trade the car in in two, three years, you're going to have a ton of negative equity because the dealer is most likely going to charge you a little bit more because you have bad credit as well as your interest rate. Bad plan. What you want to do is you want to, if you're keeping the car long term, eight plus years, you could buy a car that's 15, 20, 30 grand. Make sure you get a good price, shop around, use my strategy. But when you get the car, you're just gonna refinance in two years. The key is though, the car must last. You must have a good car when it comes to bad credit. Worst thing you could do is have a bad car and a bad loan. It's not even gonna wait long enough for you to refinance. Now, if you are not keeping the car eight years, your goal should be to lease, except you're not gonna qualify for a lease right now. So what do you do? You set yourself up to lease or you set yourself up or you set yourself back. Setting yourself back would be getting a $20,000 car, best car you could find, best per car that you could get a loan on. You're going to pay 20% interest. When you come to trade it in in two years, you're going to be too upside down. You won't qualify for the lease. Now, if you buy a car that was $10,000, $12,000 used, something that brand new was twenty twenty five. dollars this is your sacrifice car. It's your setup car. And when you do that, when you trade out of it in two years, you're going to come in with a much better equity position. You'll have a payment history. You'll be able to set yourself up for a brand new car. Start with my free cheat sheets. Learn the art of shopping from home. This is what we do.